And new at five, what to do with your old electronics? You know, the laptops, the printers, all those cell phones stuffed in the closets. Where should it go? Well, not to the landfill. So 12 on your side's Marilyn Moritz looks at how to clear the clutter and maybe make a little money. When it's time to upgrade the latest, greatest tech, here's the dilemma. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this old junk. But your electronic trash could be someone else's treasure. There are a lot of different online marketplaces that make it really easy for you to sell your old computers and devices. You might want to do a little bit of research ahead of time to make sure that you're pricing it appropriately. Even if it's broken, someone may want it. On eBay, this MacBook Pro is selling for $350. If you don't want the hassle of listing an item yourself, online buyback sites like Buyback World and Gazelle give you a quote. When you accept the offer, you ship your gadgets to them with a prepaid shipping label. You can also donate your old electronics. If you have a pile of old computers and tablets and cell phones just collecting dust, these can be really valuable to a family that is and able to buy them. This website, Digitunity, will match you with local pre-qualified organizations that will give your old computer new life. Donating your old cell phone or tablet to Cell Phones for Soldiers helps them provide international calling cards to troops. And the Hearing Aid Project will refurbish your old hearing aids for low-income people. Whatever you do, don't toss your old tech in the trash. Check out Earth 911 to find a local recycling location. And remember, before you give up your old electronics, be sure to erase the hard drive. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.